All right, so in this project, we're going to build a audio player. Um, we're going to use the HTML5 media or audio features as well as JavaScript and jQuery to power it. Um, and you can see this is it right here. We basically have a uh, we have an album here. I just randomly picked Lincoln Park. Um, no reason, just kind of grabbed it. Uh, and this is actually the album, all these songs on this album. All right, so basically we'll have an image, which will most likely be the album cover. All right, if you do have other bands or, or whatever, and you change the song, then their cover should show up. All right, so that the cover will change. Uh, we have our artist and song name. We have the volume control, uh, play, pause, and stop buttons, as well as um, previous and next arrows, so we can s go through the songs. Uh, we have a progress bar, which will fill up as the as the duration increases, and we also have the time right here as well. And then down here, we just have the songs. All right, so let's go ahead and play the first song. Okay, so we can turn it up. Turn it down. All right, so let's, we can pause it, stop it. All right, so if we stop it, you can see that the duration goes away. All right, now if we want to play a, a, another song, we can just kind of just click on it, and it'll play. All right, we can skip through, go back. And as you can see, as we change, we click the arrows, it changes down here. All right, so fairly simple, but um, we will learn quite a bit. Um, so let's get into it. Let's just uh, pause that. All right, so let's take a look at the file structure. All right, so it's pretty simple. Uh, first of all, we have a media folder, and inside there is our songs. Okay, so this is basically all from the same album. It doesn't have to be. This will work fine if you want to have other bands or, or whatever, different covers and stuff as well. Uh, the images folder is where we have our covers folder. All right, we only have one in there right now. Uh, and then we have our user interface images. Um, of course, we have our index page. We're going to have one style sheet, style.css. And for JavaScript, we actually don't need, let me just get rid of these. We don't need these here. All we need is the jQuery file and the main.js. So let me delete these. All right. So, um, what we're going to do is basically just recreate this. Let me make sure that this still works without those files. All right. And by the way, that little delay there, that has nothing to do with the player. Uh, it's just my system, my speakers. It just needs to kind of play for a second to kick in. Um, so that shouldn't happen with you. Um, yeah. All right. So let's rename this folder. This is going to be our done folder. I'm going to close this. Alright, so let's create our new folder. Alright, so let's um let's just grab the media. Okay, so that's not gonna change, it's just gonna stay as is. And let's create our folders, CSS, uh, JavaScript images, and inside the images we're gonna have a covers folder. and our index file. All right, we might as well create our other ones as well. We'll create the CSS file. J 
JavaScript alright so for the jQuery I'm just gonna grab it from the done folder but feel free to go to jQuery.com and download it or you can of course use the CDN if you don't want to actually include the actual file in your structure so just like with all of our projects we're gonna start with the HTML alright now different people have different developers have different processes for building applications um, personally I, I like to as you probably know by now I like to do the markup first then style it and then give it the uh, I guess the power if you will with JavaScript or other libraries jQuery Ajax whatever it may be alright so let's get the HTML down alright so we'll paste in a shell here and it's just for a title we'll just say HTML5 audio player now if we look, take a look at the the app you can see that it has this gradient background and this is actually CSS3 gradient uh, it's not an image alright so we're doing that through the actual CSS and then basically we have a container alright so we're gonna have a, a container ID and everything will go into that um, and then we'll put it in the middle and I think it's 600 pixels or something like that I'm not exactly sure um, so let's link our style sheet and we'll be doing the styling in the next video alright now like I said we're gonna have it all in a container div so let's say div ID container and basically the way that the, this is set up we're not going to really use any of the new HTML5 tags it's going to be mostly um, divs and buttons alright so inside the container uh, the first thing that we see is the image alright so let's create a div for the image so I'm going to give this an ID of audio image Um, and then in here we're going to have an image tag and we're going to give it a class of cover now I'm not going to um, I'm not going to include an, a, a source attribute pointing to an actual image because I don't want it to be static I want it to be placed in there through the JavaScript so that it can be dynamic so that it can change when we change the song so for now we're just gonna leave this like this alright and then under the image we're gonna have uh, a div for the actual player uh, this will include basically everything all the buttons uh, the progress bar all that stuff so div ID and I'm gonna call this audio player alright now in the audio player the first thing we see now when I say the player I mean this okay from from here down uh, we have the artist in, in song info so let's create a div for that I'll say uh, div ID audio info which will also be placed uh, dynamically so basically all the content um, is going to be placed through JavaScript mostly uh, for the info we will have 